Hey guys, what's going on and welcome back to another video. I'm Beatwalker. Today we're gonna to be going over the Process Lasso program, which basically automates all your audio issues or audio fixes on the fly so you don't have to do it every time you boot up your machine. So if you notice in my past video that talks about audio fixes within Discord, goes to the process, which includes the task manager, fixing your audio DG and stuff like that. What this does is it basically automates it for you. So I'm gonna show you how to set it all up and you should be good to go. All right, so the first thing you're gonna wanna do is go to this website called bitsum.com and you're basically gonna be greeted with the download or purchase option. Now you don't have to buy it. There's additional features that comes along with it if you do wanna buy it, but what I would suggest is just download. Basically what we're gonna be using it for, you don't need to purchase it. So you click this, hit download here, and it's gonna bring up this page. You wanna download that there. And you're going to go through the process of installing it. Now, basically, I just clicked through everything. I didn't adjust any particular installations that it tells you. You can if you want to. If you're not familiar, I would just suggest go through the normal options that it gives you. All right. And then once you've downloaded it, this is what it's going to look like. It might look a little daunting if you're not familiar with how these programs work and they basically work in the background. So what this is doing, it's already optimizing your machine as is. But we're gonna set up a couple different things to adjust our audio DG like we mentioned before. So first thing you wanna do is, you see I have my profile here called Beatwalker. You basically wanna create your own profile. So just create Lasso Profile and you can name it whatever you want. I named mine Beatwalker and then you'll be greeted with your profile every time you log into your computer. All right, so once you have your profile set up, uh, the first thing I did was go to this audio DG exe file and set my CPU priority always to high. The default was normal, so you just wanna switch that to high. And then the CPU affinity always is going to be either one or two. I know I mentioned before that you can use your first CPU, your second, whatever you want, just as long as it's a one. And in order to do that, you can just select here, select which one you want, and then just hit OK, and it should be good to go. And then the application power profile, I set that to high performance just so it can run, you know, always at the best performance possible when it's running. And that's pretty much it for the audio DG. And since I'm using voice meter majority of the time, I went ahead and found voice meter here at the bottom. Again, this is alphabetical order, so you just have to sort that accordingly. Once you find this uh, voice meter pro exe, right click on that. And all I did here was switch the application power profile to high performance. So that way you can just run High performance if you want you can set it to high priority as well but i found that it works pretty well just with the high performance set just like that all right so once you have that set up you want to restart your computer and then you can open up process, process lasso like i do here or it'll just run in the background but i like to open it up and see and make sure everything's working properly and you should notice that the Priority class of audio DG is set to high here. And if you even test this, uh, run as administrator like we normally would, details, audio DG, you can actually see that the priority is set to high. Similar to how I showed you how to do it before, but instead of doing it every single time you boot up your PC, it's gonna run automatically for you. That way you don't have those Discord crackling issues every single time and you can go and test it in discord i'm not going to do it with this video but if you want to see how i tested these audio fixes you can uh, i'll link my uh previous video before and uh, there's some other fixes in there you might want to do before you tap into this one but anyway that's pretty much it for this setup it's pretty simple super easy to use i would definitely recommend it instead of having to always change that affinity uh, priority to high. So yeah, if you like stuff like this, be sure to subscribe, like the video, I'm trying to do more videos in the future. I've just 
been bouncing around with work and stuff like that but again my discord link is below if you have any questions feel free to come on in there uh we're trying i'm trying to build up this community to kind of help people out with your audio issues and stuff like that so anyway thanks for watching i will see you guys on the next one later <laughs>